So here I crap the cream bottom shed. I've now got the uh, rocker pedestals back from machining. So my friend Jared has done an excellent job here. So he did find out that the center line of the the center line to the surface of well the surface that sits on top of the cylinder head they were all varied a little bit so he put a I'm imagining put a mandrel through and then sat them all on and milled them all so they're all perfect now perfectly good the one that was the so now that that the it's been ground the little recess that was in the uh, pedestal to align to the oil hole that now has lost its little recess so what I did was I made a little template up a little paper template as you can see there and then I transferred that onto the cylinder head where the oil port goes and then I checked the alignment of the oil hole to the oil hole on the post I found there's a little bit of discrepancy, so there wants to be a little bit uh, bird away on that edge, on the edge here. Sorry if you can't see. So I marked it all up top, rocker cover, uh, yeah, rocker cover bolts, cylinder head bolts, so that because they, they look the same, right? So you can't get them mixed up. Top, so I remember which is top and top. And put on this, his, this on here. And now I'm just going to get a small rotary burr and just make that a little bit bigger towards the cylinder head bolt so that it aligns perfectly with the oil hole so we get good oil flow to the rocker shaft all right so i will do that and then um, we will go from there so there we go a couple of minutes later i've now just burred that out slightly and this now perfectly so top to goes to the top right and therefore that goes that way around because that's the cylinder head and that's that so then that goes there and now you can see perfectly aligned perfectly aligned the hole sorry I apologize that way around I turn the rock around to get the better angle on the the burr so that's it the hole there perfectly aligned now and a bit better yeah all right, that's that done now, so I can build the rock shaft up and I'll uh, install back onto the engine, put the head back on the engine. I will check first that when I put the rocker shaft through without any rockers on, I'll put the rocker shaft assembly without any rockers on it on the cylinder head just to make sure that I haven't got any gap between any of the posts the pedestals and the cylinder head because I've got a couple of shims there but hopefully now won't need them there we go so I've put the rocker shaft put all the pedestals on and then I've got a one and a half thousand feeler blade and I have put them across the bottom they're only relying on the relying on the weight of the rocker shaft and the pedestals to hold it just to give me a rough idea of any clearance between the rocker pedestals and the so I've got nothing there, and I've got one and a half thou on here. So I can get the one and a half thou shim in there. Yeah, so I'm there. I can't get a two in there. So. All right. So I think that is with, with that is it within tolerance and acceptable. So I've done it like this so that I'm not putting any excess weight on anything. I haven't got any rockers on there. I haven't got any bolts holding it down to deform it and whatever. So that seemed to be the most easiest and best way to do this. Just to give weight, use the shaft to do what it does magically and then it lifts or puts weight on one, not on the others. So anyway, this one has a little bit of one and a half thou and uh, the rest of them are all good so i will compensate for that accordingly good afternoon crap to cream bottom shed engine rebuild continuing on so i've now put the alternator on finished uh, adjusting the tappets after i had to machine two millimeters off all the 
tap it posts, the rocker shaft posts, so that I can get the adjustment back on the screws, on the tap it adjusting screws. So because I've got the decompression plate in here for the <coughs> supercharger, it lifted the head up two millimeters, which you would have seen in a previous video. So yeah, that's all been adjusted up now. All looks good. Getting ready to fit the back plate. So I've been doing quite a bit of cleaning and a bit of painting. So yeah, that's the gaskets, which I'm sure a lot of the MG people will be familiar with. So I've just been cleaning stuff up. The spigot bearing put up a bit of a fight this time. The plunger with the grease, yeah, that did not work this time at all. It did not want to come out. So I had to resort to the reciprocating hacksaw, trying to make sure that I just cut it and didn't cut into the actual crankshaft itself. So that's all out now. Um, I think that's, yeah, the water pump's on, new thermostat housing arrived. So yeah, that's all done. Gearbox is here now, ready to go in. It's arrived. So that's, you've seen on a previous video, me putting a Mazda gearbox on to this engine, the Mazda conversion, MX-5 conversion. So I'll do that, um, maybe later on this week. This is the supercharger box. So there we are, that's what the supercharger looks like, if you haven't already seen it on another video. Looks like quite a lot of weight be hanging off those studs, but hey, it's been done and it works, so what could possibly go wrong? Uh, I think that's about it, really. Yeah, I've got the distributor set up now, so I'm not 180, 180 degrees out like I was when I did it last time. All the brackets are painted. I've got to take the engine mounting brackets off this engine, put them on that, so I've got to clean those up, paint them. And then this engine's another project going forward. And I'll rebuild that engine. So should anything happen to this one, I have another engine. And then, yeah, so, yeah, that cylinder head over there is the, the good one. Like that came off the other engine, as I showed before, leak test on that, that's all fine. Eight push rods, haven't lost any this time either. Yeah, I think that's about it, really. Yeah, okay, so thanks to subscribers and followers. The numbers are slowly creeping up. Never ever thought I'd get this far. <laughs> all a bit of an adventure so yeah it's really good so thank you very much indeed for everything and i'll uh, possibly catch you during the week or next weekend we'll see how things go bye for now